here we go. We're going to demonstrate the use and setup of the Biophoton LS 5.0 modality. As you can see, it comes in a hard shell carry case, very well packed in foam. The main unit is in the center here. Let's really get that out. And the sound probe is underneath this foam right here in the corner. As you can see, that's the sound probe. And then the glass portion of the plasma photon tubes. Ground plate. Out. Copper ground plate. And last but not least, our power supply. Get the power plugged in. Okay. And the main unit power is in the back. As far as most of the cords go, they only plug into one place, so it's kind of self-explanatory where everything goes. There's the power supply. And be sure to save your rubber bands too, save them in the case. Keep your cords wrapped up neatly, always. And they'll last you a lifetime. This is built to last. So the ground plate, copper ground plate, goes on this side here. Black plug says ground right above it. Sound probe which transmits the same frequencies going through your plasma tubes via radio waves. There's a radio wave transmitter and antenna in here that broadcast the same frequencies on a radio wave uh, pattern. And it basically gets more penetration, wider range. The range on this is about 80 to 90 feet circumference around this. So anybody within that field will be getting treated by this aspect of it. The tubes themselves are more on-site lymphatic stimulation type technology. The sound probe side here, again the only place and only one way it can go. And then last but not least, our tubes. Again, recommend saving your rubber bands. Keep your cords neatly wrapped. And typically the way I wrap these, you just hold your cord with your finger here, and wrap it around your hand. Small hands or big hands, little ones work. And there's your loop. Just lug that on there. Each one of these tubes, only for aesthetic purposes, I put a black and red plug on here to go along with the black and red plug on the main unit. So plug in the red into the red, and the black into the black keeps things pretty simple, as well as the fact this side says tubes, and it's labeled tubes. That's the only side you plug in the plasma tube. This is the high voltage side. And typically you want to keep your fingers away from these wires when this switch is on, and it's buzzing. Okay, with everything plugged in and the tubes, safe and ready. Our ground plate typically goes below the navel on the skin, like so, or it can go underneath the feet, depending on your situation, how you're treating somebody, what you're working with at the time. Um, and I recommend using a water-based lotion to moisturize the skin for better conductivity. Do not use oil-based. It's more of an insulator than a conductor. So with everything ready to go, we turn on the first switch here, which is the red side, and you'll see we have a green flashing light there indicating the main unit being on, as well as the sound probe. This half of the unit controls the sound probe. So while this half is on, the sound probe is going. So as you can see, we've got a red light flashing in there, indicating this is broadcasting. Body side is the side that makes contact with the skin. This will act as a secondary ground. So instead of having to actually use the other ground in some cases, which you don't always have to, um, you can use this as long as it's making contact with the skin. Typically, I will put that on the back, on the skin, between the shoulder blades. And usually your patient is either laying down or even sitting up with a chair back. So it's leaning on the back of the chair, keeping it in the same spot in the center of the chest, broadcasting the whole chest cavity. Then the tubes, making sure the setting is at the minimum setting, always. Now we can turn on the tube aspect of this, which is the other side, the black button here. And once that's on, when you crank it up a little bit, you can hear the tubes pulsing. Now one way we can treat a room with ozone is by laying the tubes together like this and putting them as close as you can so they're touching, making that sound you hear. And just lay them on the ground or on the bed or on the table, anywhere where you can keep them together, like so. Crank it up all the way. And within just a few seconds, you smell ozone and negative ions.
Leave that on in your room full blast for at least 20, 30 minutes. The whole room will be saturated with ozone and negative ions. So that's another aspect of the machine and how it can be used apart from lymphatic stimulation. Now for lymphatic stimulation, you want to turn it down again. Turn this side off. One tube going right next to where I put the ground plate. Over on the side though, over here, again touching the skin inside, inside the pants. Or around the back near the kidney area is always best too. That's the ground side, the black, because one side is a receiving, one side is ascending. So that's why they're marked as such. You can switch tubes back and forth. We have a tube kit that has various different shaped tubes you can add on to this. And either tube can be plugged into either side, depending on how you're working the energies. We leave that up to the researcher. Um, basically, understanding you know how the body's energy fields work, what side's positive, what side's negative, and so forth, to help actually strengthen it or weaken it. So in this case, we're going to do a basic generic treatment. Ground is going to the back, kidney area, and it could be either side. Typically, I'll put it on one side for a few minutes, and I'll switch it to the other side for a few minutes. This tube starts off in the thymus thyroid area, or what we refer to as the T-zone in the middle of the chest and across the thoracic area, where the thymus and thyroid are. This is also where the lymphatic subclavian veins dump back into the circulatory system after it's been cleaned by the lymphatic system. So you want to make sure this is wide open and never blocked or closed or, or hindered in any way. So you always start here. And typically a few minutes in one spot, a few minutes in another spot, a few minutes in another spot, down, sides of the neck, get the, getting the lymph net vessels, lymph nodes underneath the neck, opening all this up, getting across the top of the pecs. For women with breasts, you typically want to go all the way around underneath the breast, and especially underneath the arm, and just close the arm on it. But again, directly on skin is best. It will work through your clothes, but it does stimulate more lymphatics when you're taking contact with the skin. Through the clothes, it produces more ozone. So you're oxygenating the tissue more. So either way is, is best, but I typically recommend all treatments are done directly on the skin, clean skin um, with no oily or any type of mineral-based lotions on the skin, preferably water-based to help conductivity. So once you've treated the area, say if you're dealing a male or female, around the breast area in the cavity in the T-zone, then you work your way out from there. So say if I had an injury in my hand, I would put the tube literally in my hand and hold it. Well, the other tube's in my back. Now I'm running the energy through my arm, into my body, out through my back this way. Then I can simply turn it off and switch, not having to move the tube in my back, switch the plugs, and now I'm sending the energy and pulling it up this way. You typically, as with any form of energy work, body work, even acupuncture, even form of electrical stim or electrical acupuncture, you want to go both ways with the energy. The body does go both ways, it doesn't go just one way. So once you send it one way, you want to flip it and send it the other way. So typically you'll do one way for five to 10 minutes, the other way for five to 10 minutes. A total session lasts anywhere from 20 to 30, at most 40 minutes in most cases. Um, most people usually never go longer than that. They, they'll tell you they feel they've had enough and that's when their body's absorbed enough energy and that's as far as they can go with the machine at that point. So we stop, turn everything off. Always put the tubes away first because they're glass. Once you drop them, they can and will break. So these are the ones that aren't warranted with everything else that is warranted because they're glass, obviously. So take good care of those by unplugging those first, wrapping up your cords. This is the quickest way I found to wrap them because there's your little loop. And grab your... And boom, you're done. Put the tubes back into the case on the foam, keeping them safe and protected. You can leave this part on, which is the sound probe that we showed you, showed you earlier. This can just sit there on the machine, next to your bed, underneath your pillow, anywhere near a healing room, in the middle of the room, in the treatment room, in the waiting room, wherever you want to put it, kitchen, house, living room, and just leave it on all the time. And that'll keep a area very grounded, very clean, very uh, energetically stable. Um, I, I can't even get into a lot of the things we're discovering that this is doing. Um, I even got one client that's actually putting a quartz crystal uh, natural uncut crystal, small little pocket crystal on top of this with the sound probe. They get on there for a few hours and then at night taking that crystal and sticking it in her stockings where she was having problems with her legs. And after one time doing this, the problem was gone the next day. So she kept treating her crystals and not even using the machine on her leg, which helped and, and did get rid of the problem, but it only got rid of it temporarily. She had to keep using it and keep getting the benefits of, of the machine to get away from the pain. But once she started treating the crystal, it went away. She just carries her crystal with her all the time and charges it on the machine. So that's food for thought. Uh, for those that want to charge your water with this, 
which I have clients that are just using this just for water systems, uh, making custom made three foot long tubes, glass tubes, some of these spiral tubes that we're putting inside the water tank or the holding tank for the water and charging with their water and having incredible results again with that as well. What we are noticing and through some tests that feedback we've gotten is that it does remove what's known as magnetic imprinting in the water or memory in the water. For instance, uh, if you understand homeopathy, any water comes in contact with any element, it remains, that resonant frequency remains within the water. And the only way to really get rid of that is with a high magnetic field or vortexing, similar to how nature does it down a river stream, spinning it through the rocks and eddies in the vortexing. And as well as the Earth's magnetic field that's produced that the water is passing through will wipe the memory of the water, giving it a fresh new, basically just the structure of water memory. So it can clean again. Because if you've had water that's been filtered and cleaned and sterilized and, and reverse osmosis and even distilled, it still carries the resonant frequency or the homeopathic frequency of whatever element, blood, tissue, disease, feces, whatever may have contacted that water, it still carries that resonant frequency. And we found that within just seconds of this fitting thing on and in your water, it wipes that frequency, ready, making that water ready for new programming. So to demonstrate a simple water treatment, just for a glass of water for drinking purposes, we get your tubes and we put them into the glass. We put them into the water. And we don't want the tubes touching, nor do we want the foam touching the water for obvious reasons. And we turn it back on. And I crank it up all the way. Then I will put the sound probe right next to the water. And in a glass this size, this would typically take probably a few seconds and it's done. But I like to leave it a little bit longer because that'll actually increase the ozone and negative ion potential of the water and hydrogen potential, which is what truly brings water back to life, is the active hydrogen present in the water. This will amplify it. This will actually strengthen and amplify it and increase it. So uh, any form of treating your water is with the benefit of increased oxygen, increased ozone, and a balanced alkalinity, not so much raising the alkalinity to a high pH, but more of a balanced, neutral, slightly alkaline pH balance, which is what we recommend for all your drinking water um, and health purposes. So hopefully this was easy to understand. Hopefully the audio could hear me okay. Uh, if you've got any questions, I did this video just for Paula, um, but I'm sure she'll probably post it. So uh, again, any questions or you want anything redone or talked over again, feel free to contact me. I can be reached on the main site, which is biophotonlight.com. Again, that's B-I-O-P-H-O-T-O-N-L-I-G-H-T. It's kind of redundant, but it makes sense. Um, dot com. So again, that's biophotonlight.com. Um, you can reach us at support at biophotonlight.com if you have any questions. And numbers to reach us at are 619-609-7109. Again, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.